Well, as well as bringing alarming dry seasons to some countries, El Nino also raises the temperature of surface water. In the tropical eastern Pacific Ocean, this warmer water is driving a surge in the growth of plankton. And the unusual increase in the microscopic organisms is killing fish and other marine life at an alarming rate. The jade green water makes for a spectacular view. But a closer look shows the water is dense, slimy and smells of grass and dead fish. This team of scientists is visiting the seawater of Thailand's eastern Chanbori province to collect water samples. They believe the bad water is the result of a heavy plankton presence. The increase in microorganisms starves the ocean of oxygen, killing fish and other creatures. The plankton in the water eats up all of the nutrients or dies due to a lack of light. Their carcasses will then sink to the seabed and are decomposed by bacteria. The bacterial decomposition depletes oxygen in the water. This process is occurring and is causing a vast number of fish to die. Floating along the coastline are more than 260 mussel farming plots. 80% of the farms have already been severely impacted by the bloom. The region can annually produce mussels worth $1 million, but the figures are likely to decrease this year. Fisherman Sucha Boa owns mussel and oyster farms here. Almost all the ropes he is checking have a bunch of dead mussels. In my estimation, I think the damage on my farm is no less than $14,000, as I don't have just this one farm. I have others spread out there, too. I'm 100 percent certain that I'd lose thousands of dollars. As for other farms around here, the loss is great. Scientists say the increase in plankton could be a result of climate change, and they are exploring a potential link with the El Nino weather phenomena, which increases water surface temperatures. The scientists hope the data and their findings can be used to forecast future plankton blooms, and it would help fishermen decide the best times to farm and harvest. But they say science alone will not change everything. Efforts to reduce the impact of climate change is the only long-term viable solution. Everything is getting worse. If we don't change the way we manage our natural resources, if we don't adjust the way we live, dumping polluted water or wastewater into the river streams, if we don't change the wastewater management system at our homes, if we don't start doing something to save the planet, nothing will change. But for now, fishermen and the marine life are forced to face the devastating consequences.